In this session, let's talk about logging into the All Access system and then launching applications or virtual desktops. Then we'll discuss ways to reduce the time you're waiting for applications to start. First, start at the main college website and in this current student section, you'll see a link to All Access. In the faculty staff section, there's also a link to the same place. I'll go ahead and click on this. Once I get to the main page, I'm going to use my My Page username and password to log in. Once I'm logged in, the system is going to present me with a list of applications available to me. Depending on the courses you're attending, you'll be presented with a different set of applications than, say, a faculty or staff member. Everyone will have access to the office suites, but things like AutoCAD will be presented only to students in the CAD program. Students in accounting will see QuickBooks. For now, let's launch Word in the Office 2010 folder. You'll see an indicator at the bottom of the icon after you click. Peep and often miss that and click on it a few times. Another thing to notice are a couple of icons that come up in the taskbar that often run in the background. Remember, you only need to click on an icon once or else you will start launching multiple server sessions. After you click, there's a startup period where the system is running login scripts, applying group policy, etc. On average, it takes about 20 seconds for most students depending on the size of their profile. Once it's finished, the application is started and presented like you see here. Something that a lot of people don't realize is that now you are logged on to the server and are ready to launch another program. If you keep at least one program open, you won't have to log in again. In this case, I'll keep Word open, minimize it, and then launch Excel. Now, since my server session has already started, Excel will launch almost immediately. Same as with PowerPoint or any other app published from that same server. To reiterate the point again, try to keep a session open on the server to avoid having to log on multiple times. This is not just limited to applications in the Office Suite. For example, the server-based Internet Explorer shortcut is published from those servers. So I don't have to wait for the login process to run when I launch it. However, if I switch to the Office 2007 Suite, these are published on another set of servers, so when I launch Word, you'll see it's not going to launch immediately, and in a couple seconds you'll see the those two icons down in the taskbar. Now it's running the login scripts and preparing my profile on that set of servers. Like I mentioned before, it should take about 20 seconds to launch a new session. Okay, now let's switch gears and we'll look at the Citrix receiver for the Mac client. There are two different possible receivers for the Mac. The first is real similar to the Windows client and is an older version, but it is automatically installed from inside the All Access system. My preferred client has instructions listed here and has you download and install the most recent client from the Citrix site. I've already got it installed, so we'll open that up. First, we'll click here and it will give us a prompt to log in. For students, you should use the domain student I and staff need to use SLCCI with a backslash in the format you see here. Once you've logged in, you'll get a list of all the applications that are available to you based on your profile and what classes you're taking. From there, you can click Add and those programs will pop up into the application section. This is what I like about this client. Now you're, you're only going to get a list of the applications that you use on a regular basis. So we'll go ahead now and launch Word, the application similar to what we, done early, we did earlier on the Windows PC. This will kick off the login onto the server and it will start setting up your profile and running the login scripts. Now, just like we mentioned before, the trick to remember is to always keep one application open if you want to launch others. This just makes it so you don't end up having to log in multiple times and waiting for that logon process. We'll minimize this and then launch Excel. And as you can see, it's almost instantaneous. 
In summary, here is a list of some of the key points from this session. Thanks for watching.